Two Dick Twang talks about. I. I. And the triple nine. I, and welcome back. Today, um. Yeah, uh, you probably skipped a video title. I don't know what I'm going to title it exactly like I ever do. But, um. Yeah, this is just going to be a short video for my Russian and Ukrainian viewers. I know 2% of you are Russian, uh, at least judging by YouTube analytics, and probably 1% of you are Ukrainian, who knows. It's not, it got rid of like, the entire detail list, and now it just shows you like the top 10, which is sad, uh, for such an international channel that no one's a, no one's a majority. Because even my biggest number, which is 20%, which is 20% Americans, is still only 20%. And no one else has, and everyone else, and the Russians are the biggest, are the second biggest at 2%, 2 3%, and then everyone else is 1% or lower. But I am not feeling great tonight, but I decided to get the camera out, which you know, I don't do all that often for this to only talk about at all. I only pull this thing out when I absolutely need to. Uh, I probably will. I probably will use it more, but uh, I'm mostly stalling right now because, yeah, if you are a regular viewer of this channel, maybe you're not, uh, but if you're a regular viewer of this channel, you are something I mentioned in the last or two I talked about when I was talking about the Russo Ukraine crisis slash war. We're not quite decided what it is yet. Uh, and that's for historians to figure out, I guess. Uh, when I said my people, I'm talking about, I'm not, even I don't know who my people are, but, uh, it's not a group, anyone besides my people will recognize, and the easiest, and one of the easiest, uh, definitions of my people is just simply the community of this channel, which I don't know what you usually come here for, I could presume, but I don't like presuming. As often as I presume that is, but anyway, uh, and yeah, I, I, I'm just unable to prevent the situation. The West is intent on just watching this unfold from Poland, <laughs> and yeah. And it seems like no one has learned their lesson from World War One, World War Two, and presumably any older war. That uh, you don't let things slide. You don't let dictators dictate, or else I'll do this. People were saying all up until the invasion. Oh, I think there's gonna be an invasion. And judging by how terrible I feel, it's probably coming up short. I've never experienced a major war. The I never lived during a major war, closest being would be Afghanistan I would think, Afghanistan and Desert Storm, uh, to a major, to a major conflict, and this is my first time ever experiencing a major, major conflict, as they say it's the biggest war since, it's the biggest war in Europe since World War Two. and, and could easily, and could easily, uh, evolve into War 3 and that could easily evolve into nuclear doomsday. Even though I don't think it will, Putin simply does, Putin, Putin only simply, I can actually move my, I can actually move my bunny ears now, Putin simply wants Ukraine. He does not want to go, he does not want to do Hitler style and go conquer all of Europe in one fell swoop. He knows what happened to Hitler. And so he's not going to do that. But will Putin stop 
in Ukraine now. He'll just conquer Ukraine. Once Ukraine is conquered, he'll let everything settle. Uh, consolidate his forces, consolidate his conquest. Let the world think he won't do it again. And then go off to the Baltics. Once he's out to the Baltics, then go after Poland. Then after Germany. Then after France. And then East. And now Putin match. And now Putin has the Soviet Empire. Has the Soviet Empire that stretches coast to coast. His manifest destiny, if you will. Pu uh, you know, Russia stretching from the Bering Sea to the Channel. Which is pretty much a thing that all Russian rulers have ever wanted. Going back from Stalin to the Tsars. And the people who rule Russia, such as the Mongols or the Polish or the Polish. So yeah, I mean to my, uh, to my Russian and Ukrainian viewers, not a little less to my Ukrainian viewers. Uh, I just gotta say, I, I do trust that he'll do the right thing if you are conscripted or already volunteered in the Russian military, for all I know. If it's as common as my American military viewers, it's common. Uh, but if you are conscript, if you are in the Russian military now watching this as secretly r r watching this at whatever time it is over in that, uh, over in that time zone you're in, uh, secretly watching this in your tank or in your helicopter ready to invade Ukraine, just uh, know that I trust you'll do the right thing. Because you're one of my people and you will do the right thing. As much as you can do in your situation, you will do the right thing. And to my Ukrainian viewers, mm, the same thing applies, of course. Uh, but just, uh, just know that you, you try not to die. Um, and if you fight each other, if I have a Russian viewer and Ukrainian viewer fight each other, just try not to kill each other too much. Okay? Do your best to, uh, not shoot for the head. Uh, this is a very odd situation, which... I don't think... Well, I mean, obviously people have found themselves in. For Coca-Cola, I found themselves in the same situation in World War II, but, they, the, the, but their solution was just split the difference. Make, uh, make Fanta in Germany and make... Fords in Germany. Yeah, that was weird. Uh, So, yeah, just do the best you can and know that whatever, whatever happens next, uh, as long as you do the right thing at the right time, and I do right thing at the right time, meaning the fog of war is thick, and it's setting on, and, it, and the fog of war has, is starting to set. So, do the right thing with, your, with the right information you have. I say, I would say this to America, if Americans were wrong, if um, if my American audience was going to go to war with one of my other audiences, not that you aren't all one of my, not not that all, not that you are my one single audience, but besides that, um, I would say be saying the same thing. But this is a very strange situation. I hope we all uh, make it out. Okay, no nuclear war. We don't need that. And I honestly don't think that will happen in the modern day, in the 21st century, because we all know nukes are bad. Maybe use tactically every now and then if, if it just if it strikes your fancy, but never just launch ICMs every on a planet for no reason. Because we know that America doesn't want to cause collateral damage, and we know Putin and Z and Emperor Winnie the Pooh wants to conquer. So yeah, and one of the reasons why I was making this video was because. Russia is putting up a great firewall, which it should have its unique name, but anyway. I guess the Iron Wall or whatever. It's putting up another Iron Curran. So uh, this may be the last time I get to talk to you because if you're a Russian viewer on my channel for any length of time, you know that I badmouth Russian stuff all the time. Not Russians themselves, of course, but Russian stuff. Because I just simply don't like it. Same with British stuff. I don't like British stuff that much either. Oh, whoops. I don't like British stuff that much either, so... 
Yeah, the screensaver came on. Oh, my, my, my camera froze because of course it did. Yeah, I have the hardest time with camera. Uh, with camera. Oh, did everything freeze? No. No, my camera just froze. Of course it did. Let me get that back up. But it did its job. It did its job. Get this back up. Yeah, I really don't like this thing. Oh, I don't think my camera fell asleep. Okay, never mind. It served its purpose. Let me just turn it off then. See, it's battery. I'll unplug it. So, yeah. Um. Hey, like I said, and my it hasn't even been short. Ah, it's been short because it's me. My luck, like I said, in my last thing. Let me get that up right now. Yeah, and said in my la uh, like I said in my last video. Um, yeah, it's just uh, it's actually I'm not showing you that. Show you that bit. I'm pretty sure I can show you this. Sorry, I can't do more. Yeah, I really. If only green and blue was larger. If only it was larger. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm sorry. Um, I guess that's pretty much it. Just uh, look out for each other, including those on the other side of the conflict who are in our group, not their group, our group. And I hope you make it out okay, and I trust you'll make the right decisions when when uh, a decision comes up. Like, yeah, you get that out of there. Uh, yeah, get that out of there. Uh, when a decision comes up that, uh, that you need to make. And for the most part, let the best man win. Just try to try to keep you both. Just try to keep each other alive. And and to and to my American viewers or Polish viewers or German viewers or French viewers in NATO and friends, uh, same rule applies to you in this situation. Just remember that people watch this channel in Russia. And people watch this channel in Ukraine. Just as much as people watch this channel in the United States as well. And our people are everywhere. Which, uh, if you are a Russian censor, hello there. Uh, and uh, you're probably watching me already, but um, just remember, I have people everywhere. So uh, be be, be sure to be on your best behavior, O2, alright? I mean, okay, <laughs> you too, alright? So, yeah. Oh, maybe this video is a special thing. I don't know if it'll even get views. Because I don't know if two views as of right now, but, um. Yeah. And if you're worried about never uh, being able to engage with my work again. Um, just know that there will always be ways. On which 
not like most of you watch this on YouTube anyway. Just saying. I I know I know I know I know the popular places to watch my channel from, and it's not YouTube for the most part, and it's not Google either, or any or or anything Western that I can recognize. I know the reason I probably have a lot of Russian viewers and viewers from less fortunate countries. But yeah, um. Just, uh, just stay safe, take care of each other, and do the right thing. And I guess have fun! Wars like this don't happen all the time, so go have fun out there. Just don't commit war crimes, every man. And try to be the, uh, heroes I know you are. So, uh... Yeah, uh, that'll be the first video. Thanks for watching. We really do appreciate you watching all this video. It's a lot to me. Uh, if you're and here's the alternative of that next bit, I just to this video probably. But uh, if you're in a less fortunate country, who has less fortunate leaders? Right. If you're in a less fortunate country, uh, with with leaders who are uh, not who are not as generous with with certain things uh just remember that uh just remember that uh there other ways to get my to get my books arts and other things and it'll be very important and it'll be very important for the future of this planet and humanity most likely not that you want horn there for a bit but uh yeah, probably important for you to keep it somewhere, nice and tidy, and share with your friends. Although, go get in trouble. That'd be bad. That'd be bad. Keeping it in your heart where you can't get censored is probably yet. Yeah, there might be a way to do that in the future. But keep it in your soul and your heart, and keep keep our values in your soul and your heart, and uh, and share very uh, and share and share it. Very, very, very carefully, very discreetly. It's what I have to do, even in America, even in Florida, even in America, is what I have to do. So, uh, in less, so in a worse situation than I have, in terms of rights and free speech, uh, be very discreet, because I wouldn't want you ending your life over this. Although it may, although it may be necessary one day, who knows? But yeah. All right, so that'll be first video. Thanks for watching. Um, again, share discreetly, and and if you're ever just and if we're and if you ever can't find me anywhere, you probably be able to find me somewhere. No, you definitely will be able to find me somewhere. And if not, you'll be able to carry our, uh, the memory of our, our work together in, in your heart. So, yeah. All right. Well, uh, that be it for this video. Thanks for watching. And I really, just really mean this this time. And it's probably very important. Maybe might be one of the last things you hear hear me say. But uh, I guess. See you in a second.